As we all know, every child gets sick from time to time, but for one family, what seemed like a simple sore throat turned into the battle of a lifetime. Nine News Medical reporter Dr. John Torres talked with this family whose teenage son had an infection that some doctors haven't seen in decades. Right, and this is a pretty incredible story, but it's called Lemire syndrome. And basically, it's something that doctors are having trouble diagnosing, mainly because a lot of doctors haven't seen this before or even heard about it. And that's what happened to one local teen and his family. Well, everything seemed to be going wrong. I had headaches and vomiting and sore throat and nausea and just everything went wrong. And for Mike Safranca and his family, things seemed to be going wrong quickly. What his mom, Don, thought was a regular case of strep throat turned into something much more dangerous. After seeing several doctors, Mike ended up at the children's hospital. By then, he was so sick, the illness started taking a toll on his organs. He couldn't even open his eyes, lift his head. The only thing he was saying was his headache was just killing him. Terrible headache. That's all he could do. He was in the fetal position for like three days, even once we got to Children's. He was just so miserable. Dr. Mary Glodet and others at the Children's Hospital were able to diagnose his condition as Lemire syndrome, something most doctors haven't seen since the introduction of antibiotics in the 1940s. What makes this different from a normal throat infection is how quickly it can spread. And then that infection proceeds and it drains to the lymph nodes next to the tonsil and can get into the blood vessel next to the tonsil and then proceed to set up a clot in that blood vessel uh, that's infected. That clot starts to break up in the body and the infection spreads as the body starts to shut down. Fortunately for Mike and his family, once lab tests gave doctors the diagnosis, the treatment worked. After a few days on heavy antibiotics, his mom says he was starting to act like himself again. He was hungry. He wanted to eat. Strawberry milk, ice cream. Yeah, he wanted to eat, so it was a good sign. And now he's ready to get back to his old life. I want to get back to school and be with my friends. Now, Dr. Claudet says the Children's Hospital sees around 5 to 10 cases of Lumiere syndrome every year. It's still not very common, but seems to be happening more and more often than it did just a few years ago. The important lesson from this is to know your child. If they appear sicker than you expect for a normal infection or a normal throat infection, or they suddenly take a turn for the worse, seek medical condition because it could be an unusual condition like this. And that's the important lesson here. So I, children, since they're seeing more of this, do we have any reason to believe that it is widespread, more common now, and why that might be? You know, it's very interesting. This happened before the 1940s. You saw a lot of cases of this, and after 1940, that's when antibiotics came in. We used antibiotics a lot. Mm. About 10 to 20 years ago, we stopped using antibiotics as much as we used to and started cutting back and only using them when we need to, and that's why I think one of the reasons you might be seeing more of this, this, this syndrome every now and then. Again, you know, it's not the type of thing that everybody needs to be on antibiotics, but it's happening more and more often. Plus, kids aren't getting their tonsils taken out as much as they used to. Uh, yeah. And I think that might be contributing right. as well. We did it a lot, I remember, right. when I was a kid. And nowadays, it doesn't happen that often. No. So is this then most common in children or younger adolescents right. or ch young children? It's, or? it's usually adolescents and young adults. It has happened in 35-year-olds and even older. Mm. But again, most commonly, it's adolescents and young adults. And the, the, you know, the things to look for are just making sure they don't get any, any worse type of infections. Sure. Wow. Now, you had talked about us backing off of the antibiotics, right. which we did for for good reason, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, does, does this mean that maybe that approach wasn't the best approach? What do you think? No, not at all, because we're, we're working with two different things here. One, the antibiotic resistance. And so if we use too much antibiotics, that's what we were seeing. The bacteria started becoming resistant. Mm -hmm. Our antibiotics just weren't working. And so we started backing off to let those antibiotics work better for what they need to be worked on. But, you know, occasionally when that happens, something's going to slip through, like this particular bacteria, and that can cause us. Again, it's rare. It doesn't happen very often. The warning signs are there. If your child starts getting really sick, you know, he had 105-degree temperature. Wow. He couldn't get out of bed. Ugh. He couldn't eat or drink anything. You know, these are very specific Extreme signs to look for. Mm -hmm. Right. Will. But the lesson here again is just know, you know your child. Right. And you, some kids just get strep throat a lot. Right. So is that person going to be more prone to something like this or no? No, because no? it's a different bacteria. Okay. This, is a, okay. this is what's called Fusobacterium, which is something we normally have in our throats. It just goes a little nutso in this case. Hmm. And so it, it's different than strep throat. You know, again, if you have strep throat, that usually gets treated with antibiotics. But that's the question I asked Dr. Gladet. She's an infectious disease specialist at the Children's Hospital. And I said, you know, should we be looking at more antibiotics? Should parents push for antibiotics? And she's like, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. You know, just if your child starts getting sicker, then go back and bring up something mm -hmm. like Lemire's mm. and talk to your doctor. Good yeah. to know. I had no idea idea so All right. I learned a lot. And thank you. Goodness, Michael's doing great. Yeah oh, yeah that is good yeah. news. Thank goodness yeah. Mm -hmm. Got his appetite back. That's a good sign. <laughs> and he wants when to go to school. Teenager, oh crazy <laughs> that stuff. Was, that was the biggest sign. How about right? that? You want to go to school? All good right. for him. All right. If you want to learn more about this syndrome you can do so by going to the health section of 9news.com.